ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما Welcome back to another session for the main theme of the chapters of the Quran and alhamdulillah rabbil alamin that Allah had honored us blessed us allowed us so we can talk about some of the chapters of the Quran and we have reached to chapter number 30 huh? which number 6 36 yes surat yasin so where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually is talking about the messengers is talking about the prophets and the message of the messengers and before i just start my lecture i just wanted to welcome our brother brother mustafa shaheen welcome back to the community may allah bless him allahumma amin ya rabbal alamin brother mustafa used to be here before like three years ago and alhamdulillah used to come and attend many ramadans with our community members he just came alhamdulillah from Egypt like five days ago. So welcome brother, may Allah bless you and bless your stay here with us. Allahumma ameen ya rabbil alameen. Also, I just wanted to remind you, when we talked about Yaseen, Surah Yaseen, Wal Quran al-Hakim, innaka lamin al-mursaleen. So Allah is talking to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he is one of the messengers. And we said that Allah wanted to comfort his heart because the surah was revealed during the time of mecca before migrating to medina during the time of the trials during the time of the tribulations during during the time of persecution and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to comfort to console the heart of the prophet muhammad and you know when just i wanted because of the, the time, like uh, some people suggested for tonight because of the dinner that we should shorten the lecture. Some people said, Imam, we are so hungry, we should cancel the lecture. Okay, so instead of canceling, I would not say that Dr. Yusuf who suggested this, I would not mention his name by the way. Okay, but, <laughs> but anyhow, there is only one point I wanted to emphasize tonight so we could learn something inshallah i believe that they give me like 20 minutes or 15 minutes period of time so one of the guy one of the youth here maybe isa could have his stopwatch stopwatch working and monitor my time if he if you can do this please otherwise we can you know offer penalty for the imam for tonight okay so just let me let me explain something allah gave the example to rasulullah in Surah Yasin, Allah said, O Muhammad, wadrib lahum mathalan ashab al-qariyati if jaa'ah al-mursalun. Give them, give the people, your companions, your Muslim community. Give them the example of the city, of the town, when we send to them messengers. Normally what Allah will send, will send messenger. But Allah, we sent for one city, for one particular town, we sent many messengers. And you could say, Imam, it could be two messengers. No, Allah said, إِذْ أَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْهِمْ with name. We sent two messengers. فَكَذَّبُوهُمَا They denied them. They refused them. فَعَزَّزْنَا بِثَالِثٍ you remember Fa'azzazna when we were reciting during the Quran recitation time? Fa'azzazna. Do you remember when we talked about the name of Allah, Al Aziz? We had supported the two messengers with a third one. You know, that teaches us something that maybe one city, Allah could send more than one messenger. And that's a good example. So Allah sent three messengers to one city. We are, the three of us, are messengers from Allah to you. And you know how they responded? They said, You are just human beings like us. And that is the only point that I wanted to share with you. 
And that is for your aqeedah. You know what is the message here? That sometimes you will meet some people, they will not be convinced with the idea that the messengers are nothing but, but human beings, but they have only one thing extra, that they got a revelation from Allah. But yet, you will have some group of people, they will have this concept, this idea, that they wanted the messengers to be anything other than human. And that is actually what people are doing now with Jesus. Why? Because they wanted him to be something other than human. And that is actually was the problem of Rasulullah with our Umm. Allah said at the end of Surah al kahf قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَنَا بَاشَارٌ مِثْلُكُمْ I'm exactly a human being like you. يُوحَى إِلَيْهِ The only thing different, that I got the revelation from Allah. That is the only thing extra. That's why in many positions in the Quran, you will find some communities throughout the entire history. They try to criticize the Prophet. And they said, Bashar, he is a human being eating food and he walks in the marketplace. Why Allah did not send an angel along with that messenger so we can have a proof, a solid proof that he is a messenger from Allah. Allah does not want to give the credibility to an angel. Allah does not want to give the credibility to some even miracles. Allah wanted to give the full credibility to the message itself. If you will not believe in the words of Allah that was sent or were sent with the messenger, so would you believe in a in an angel, and yet they asked for miracles and they saw the miracles by their own eyes and they did not believe. That's why you have to think deeply about the message that Allah wanted to deliver to Rasulullah. Allah said, do not think it's your fault, no. Do not think because you are an, one, one messenger, that's why they, they do not believe in you. No, that's not your fault. Allah wanted to give him the clear message. Still, you will have some people, no matter what you have done, they will not believe in you. That's why Allah said, are you wanting to kill yourself in grief because they didn't become believers? No, that is part of the equation. If you are going to deliver the message to 50 people today, some of them will accept it, some of them will not accept it. That's not the problem of the message. That is sometimes the problem of the people themselves. They deny, they saw the miracles with Musa alayhi salam. Musa had split the Red Sea in front of their own eyes. And he left them only for 40 days. When he came back, he found them had worshipped the cow, the cow with the Samiri. Musa السلام, had turned the stick into a huge snake. He put his hand into his pocket and it became radiant, lightning. And they did not believe. They asked him, ask Allah to send us a table full of food from the heavens. And Allah had sent it. They saw food from the heavens. They ate it. Allah said, Inni munazziluha alaykum. I'm going to send. Who will deny? 
Whoever will deny after this, فَإِنِّي أُعَذِّبُهُ عَذَابًا لَا أُعَذِّبُهُ أَحَدًا مِنَ الْعَالَمِينَ I will torture him with such punishment that no one had ever seen before. You know why? Because you've seen the miracles. That's why in many positions in the Quran, the highest level of Iman, الَّذِينَ يَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَيْبِ Those who believe in Allah under the circumstances of the unseen. Alif Lam Mim, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Who are المتقين يَا رَبْ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ Those who believe in the unseen. That's the highest level of Iman. Because, and let me tell you something. I, I think I passed my time. I'm, I'm good. Alhamdulillah. See, timekeeper here. Okay. But there is something very important. Allah said, Oh Muhammad, give them the example of the people of the town. Did Allah mention the name of the town? No. Did Allah mention the date, which year, which month that happened? No. Did Allah mention the number of the population of this town? No. What Allah wanted to tell us. Some people are obsessed with the idea. No, Imam, what's the name of the city? I'm asking him, what's the benefit if you know the name of the city? The name of the city, Maharaja. Are, are you good now? For example, some people are obsessed with such details that would not benefit them. That's why Allah asked us in Surah Al-Kahf. Allah said, people will be busy with the number of the people of the Kahf, of the cave. سَيَقُولُونَ ثَلَاثَةٌ رَابِعُهُمْ كَلْبُهُمْ وَيَقُولُونَ خَمْسَةٌ سَادِسُهُمْ كَلْبُهُمْ They will just give numbers about how many the youth that they were in the cave. Allah said, do not think of things which are not relevant to you. Allah wanted us to focus and concentrate in the main listen. That's why Quran is not a book of history. Quran is not a book of history. Quran is a book of signs. S I G N S. Quran is a book of lessons. That's why. If you wanted to go to the details, Imam, what is the name of Imam? Do we have the names of the messengers that they were sent to the town? Allah did not mention. Because simply, Allah did not want you to be wasted in those details. What is the what is the main message? Oh Muhammad, no matter how messengers, how many messengers that we could send to the town, they would still my deny that's not your fault that is some of the nature of some people they will reject period that's the whole thing that's not your fault oh muhammad and that's why i'm telling all of you sometimes you might find people will accept you if i'm giving the khutbah for for 200 people do you think that the 200 all will be satisfied with the khutbah? No. And I know this very well. That's why when you forget people, you only say what pleases Allah. That's what, that's, that is what matters. Do not think about people. And my message to the young generation, do not try to please anyone. You only please Allah. Whether people accept it or not, that's not your point. Even with the man with his wife, the wife with her husband, you only pleases Allah. Because sometimes it is so hard to please your partner. You know, some people, you bring diamond to them and they are not satisfied. You bring gold to them, they are not satisfied. No matter what you made, they still complain. They still they dissatisfied. That's why do only what pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakum Allah khairan. Barakallahu feekum.
you see, I stick with the time. May Allah accept from all of us. Allahumma ameen. So for tonight's dinner, inshallah, you will have an Egyptian food. I would like you to, inshallah, go like within a big fight. Inshallah, Rabbil We still have two minutes for the battle with the dinner. Uh, I hope you guys, inshallah, enjoy. May Allah bless you. Allahumma ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Jazakumullah khayran. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, it's a gentle fight. Smooth fight. N nice one. It's not a real fight.